Sinn Féin councillor Bernard O'Hagan was shot dead as he stepped out of his car at the college where he worked as a business studies lecturer. His killers, the UFF, a cover name for the paramilitary Ulster Defence Association, had said last week that it was stepping up its campaign of violence. And only hours before this shooting, the IRA had warned that it will carry out revenge attacks for the murder of Catholics, saying loyalist gunmen will pay a high personal price for their actions. Mr. O'Hagan, aged 37, was a father of three and became a Sinn Féin district councillor in 1989. Maharapelt Technical College closed down today as a mark of respect. He was a real professional who gave 100% to his students. There is no doubt that he was an outstandingly good lecturer, and uh, for that he would be greatly missed. As Mr. O'Hagan's body was taken away, another victim of loyalist gunmen was buried in Belfast. The funeral of Kevin Flood, murdered in an apparently random shooting outside his home last Friday, heard another Catholic church plea for an end to what was called senseless bloodletting. But security chiefs believe there is little hope of that. Ulster violence has claimed the lives of 59 people this year, 45 of them civilians. Andrew Simmons, IKN, Northern Ireland.